In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to build customer driven strategy. Today, most companies moved from mass marketing to target marketing, which means identifying market segments and selecting a few to produce for. There are four major steps in designing a customer-driven marketing strategy, which are presented in the figure you see. From the figure, the four steps are first, segmentation, which means divide the total market into smaller segments. Second, targeting, which means select the segment or segments to enter. Third, Differentiation, which means differentiate the market offering to create superior customer value. Fourth, positioning, which means position the market offering in the minds of target customers. Note that the first and second steps are to select customers to serve and the third and the fourth steps are to decide on a value proposition and note that all four steps are to create value for targeted customers this is an important concept you should know market segmentation market segmentation means dividing a market into smaller segments with distinct needs or characteristics or behavior that might require separate marketing strategies or mixes there are different ways to segment a market. First, geographic segmentation, which means dividing a market into different geographical units, such as nations, states, regions, counties, cities, or even neighborhoods. Second, demographic segmentation, which means dividing the market in different segments based on variables such as age, gender, family size, family life cycle, income, occupation, or education, religion, race, generation, and nationality. For example, age and life cycle segmentation is dividing a market into different age and life cycle groups. Also, gender segmentation means dividing a market based on a gender, while income segmentation divides a market based on income levels. Psychographic segmentation, dividing a market into different segments based on social class or lifestyle or personality characteristics. 
Fourth, behavioral segmentation. Dividing a market into segments based on consumer knowledge or attitudes or uses or responses to a product. This can be done via occasion segmentation, which means dividing the market according to occasions when buyers get the idea to buy, of course, or actually making the purchase or use the purchased items. Benefit segmentation, which means dividing the market according to the benefits that customers see from the product. Also markets can also be segmented based on user states, usage, of course usage rate, and reality status. Marketers often use multiple segmentation bases to identify a well-defined target group. For segmentation to be effective, market segments must be measurable, accessible, substantial, differentiable, and actionable. While business markets can be segmented with the same variables, but also with additional ones, such as customer operating characteristics, and purchasing approaches and, and, and situational factors. While international markets can be segmented using a combination of variables, intermarket segmentation or cross-market segmentation, which means forming segments of consumers who have similar needs and buying behavior also, even though they are located in different countries. Market targeting. Market targeting is the process of evaluating each market segment's attractiveness and selecting one or more segments to enter. When evaluating segments, a marketer must look at segment size and the growth, and segment structural attractiveness and company objectives and resources. A target market consists of a set of buyers sharing common needs or characteristics that the company decides to serve. There are several forms of market targeting. First, undifferentiated or mass marketing. A marketing coverage strategy in which a firm decides to ignore market segment differences and to go after the whole market with one Offer. Second, differentiated marketing or segmented marketing, which means a market coverage strategy in which a firm decides to target several market segments and design separate offers for each. Third, concentrated marketing, which means a market coverage strategy in which a firm goes after a large share of one or a few segments. Fourth, micro-marketing, installing products and the marketing programs to the needs and wants of specific individuals and the local customer segments. It includes local marketing, which means tailoring brands and promotions to the needs and wants of local customer segments or cities or neighborhoods and even specific stores. It also includes individual marketing, which means tailoring products and the marketing programs to the needs and uh, preferences of individual customers. Also called one-to-one -one marketing or customized marketing and markets of one marketing. Companies need to consider a lot of factors when deciding upon a targeting strategy, such as available resources, market variability, and competitors' marketing strategies.
differentiation and positioning. Differentiation means differentiating the market offering to create superior customer value. While positioning is arranging for a market offering to occupy a clear, distinctive, and desirable place relative to competing products in the mind of target consumers. A product position is the way the product is defined by consumers in important attributes such as the place the product occupies in the consumer's minds relative to competing products. Also, perceptual positioning maps show consumer perceptions of brands versus competing products. Note that to build profitable relationships, marketers must understand customer needs. When a company is differentiated by a superior customer value, this can create a competitive advantage, which means an advantage over competitors gained by offering greater customer value either by having lower prices or providing more benefits that justify high prices. The company can differentiate itself via product differentiation or service differentiation or channel differentiation or people differentiation or image differentiation. Note that when a company has multiple differences to promote, many marketers think the company should focus on one unique selling point, while some others think they can promote more. The front is worthy to promote need to be important, distinctive, superior, communicable, not easily covered, affordable, and profitable. The value proposition is the full positioning of a brand, which means the full mix of benefits on which it is positioned. There are multiple possible value propositions of which five can be owning. One, more for more, which means upscale products and higher prices to more for the same used to attack competitors by offering quality at low price three the same for less which means a good deal for less for much less which means a less optimal performance for a low price five more for less, ultimately winning, but difficult to actually achieve. A positioning statement is a statement that summarizes company or brand positioning. And it takes this form to and state your target segment and needs then our and the state your brand is and the state the concept that and then you state point of difference now once a position is chosen 
a company must take action to deliver and communicate the position to its target customers.